Our next film is called She's Out of Control, and like the movie Say Anything, which we reviewed earlier, She's Out of Control is about a beautiful teenage girl and her father and the boy she dates. But the similarity ends immediately because She's Out of Control quickly turns into a trashy TV-style movie that tries vainly to satirize its subjects. While the girl's father is out of town, she undergoes a beauty makeover that stuns her dad, Tony Danza, upon his return. That's right, Tony Danza plays a father here, and he plays one quite badly. Dad? <laughs> well, isn't it great? Janet, help me. Isn't she beautiful, Doug? Doug? Dad Danza tries to spend some time with his now popular daughter, and he discovers he has to make an appointment to see her. How's Thursday? Dad, I'm busy. I'm sorry. Friday. Dad, I can't. Saturday. Dad, I'm sorry. Sunday. Sunday, please. Give me Sunday. I want Sunday. What am I doing Sunday? Okay, okay, cancel it. Danza's voice is really grating, and in a typically exploitive scene, he becomes disturbed when he sees his voluptuous daughter at the beach. Dad, I'm dressed like everyone else. What's the matter with you? You're acting like every man on this beach is after my body. It's after my body. It's after my body. That's Amy Dolenz as the girl. Seeing she's out of control is really a depressing experience. It is neither lifelike nor an effective fantasy. That scene you just saw tries to rip off ten, but it isn't ten. Rather, this film exists in a strange netherworld, I think, of what Hollywood considers entertainment, but is really a sinkhole of tawdry values. The film is photographed ineptly in tight TV shots, and when I saw she's out of control, I became so depressed, I actually thought about quitting my job as a film critic, feeling as though the movies had abandoned me, because what I was seeing there really wasn't a movie. It was some sort of strange concoction of uh, really this, someone who didn't understand what movies were all about. Fortunately, however, I would see the movie say anything later in the same day, and all is right with the world. I'm still on the job. You know, people probably think you're joking when you said no, that I you meant, were really thinking that. of quitting your job. But I know what you felt, because I sat there and I thought, Life is precious, life is short, and the idiots who made this film are taking two hours of my life and robbing it from me in order to give me less than nothing. Yeah. I mean, a movie like this is a crime because what it does is it robs life from people by requiring them to spend two hours having such a terrible experience happen to them. Now, yeah. Jean-Luc Godard, the great French director, right. once said, the way to criticize a movie is to make another movie, and you put your finger right on it mm -hmm. because the next movie we saw the same day was Say Anything, mm -hmm. also about a father, also about his daughter. Right. Same kind of basic situation, but here's a trash movie and here's a great movie. Uh, it's really bad. I always wonder when I'm in a bad, I don't know if you have this reaction, when I'm in a bad movie in a theater, mm -hmm. uh, aren't you surprised that people stay? I think maybe they're just, they've spent their money, but they what don't about, have any place to go for two hours. Yes, but I would just, say this, when you talk about robbing your life, see my thing I've always wanted to say to the people, I've always wanted to stand up in the middle of a bad movie in a uh -huh. theater and say, aren't your lives worth more? for two hours than the, even say seven bucks in New York City, no three fifty an hour, every, that's below the minimum wage, the new minimum wage. I mean, <laughs> get out and live. Go stand in the lobby and talk. Yeah. You know, Oscar Brotman, a Chicago film exhibitor, once told me many years ago, he said, there's a rule, he said, if nothing has happened by the end of the first reel, nothing <laughs> is going to happen. Yeah. You know, and when I saw uh, this movie, I oh, knew it was... that I, after the first minute, I knew that nothing yeah, was going to happen. Basic errors.